Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you're all doing amazing. So, it was brought to my attention that normal people do not spend as much time looking into incels as I do, and therefore, maybe some of the jargon in videos of mine where we discuss this has been lost. But since I have an entire series just dedicated to definitions, I thought it would be helpful if I did an entire video where we just go through some of the main definitions that you would need to know to enjoy this content fully with me. I found an amazing, amazing guide by Moonshot that is called Incels, a guide to symbols and terminology. That They do this in the best way and in the most prettiest way. So without further ado, we're just going to go through some of the major definitions that you would need to know and the jargon that these incels use. And then as we go forward into deep diving all of these fabulous cows, we will all know what the heck I am talking about whenever I speak it. So I'm just going to roll that intro and then we're going to get right into the definitions. Of course, we need to start with incels. So, what are incels? Involuntary celibates, incels, are men who define themselves by their inability to form or access sexual relationships with women. They believe this is the combined result of genetic factors, evolutionarily determined traits in women, and inequitable social structures. Incels are predominantly interested in accessing sex with women. Incels believe genetic factors influence their physical appearance and or cognitive and social abilities to the extent that they are unattractive to women. I mean, most of them are, but who am I to judge, I guess? Incels establish their unattractiveness through a range of measurements, including their height, weight, bone structure, distances between specific facial features, baldness, wrist size, position on the autism spectrum, and numerous other biologically determined features. These systems of measurement are taken from lookism theories. And in future, we are going to dive into all of the theories, but I want that to be a separate video. But that theory draws heavily on eugenics to describe an archetypal man. Incels believe that women are evolutionarily predetermined to seek out mates through a process called hypergamy. Hypergamy is premised on the belief that women are more sexually selective, have a narrow view of attractiveness, yeah, we're apparently shallow as fuck, and lower levels of promiscuity than men. Okay, whatever you boys say. This means women deliberately seek out the most conventionally attractive mate, reject less attractive men, and remain single when an ideal mate is unavailable. Incels believe that prior to women gaining sexual and financial anatomy, hypergamy was restricted because of the reliance on a husband for physical and material security. With the advancement of women's rights, the pesky feminism movement, independence, and sexual freedoms, incels believe women's hypergamous behavior now dominates the sexual marketplace, where women now select sexual relationships with a small proportion of highly attractive men. Yeah, my husband's pretty hot. Incels believe that 20% of men are now mon monopolizing 80% of women for sexual relationships. And they refer to this as the 80-20 rule. 
this is a fun little chart, but I think we're going to go through most of the charts when I deep dive into all the different theories. We just doing the definitions here, folks. Incels believe mainstream society ignores or actively represses information about the genetic factors and evolutionary traits that impact their ability to access sexual relationships. Those who do not subscribe to incels' belief system are blue-pilled. So that would probably be you and me were blue-pilled. Mainstream beliefs about sex, intimacy, and dating are considered blue-pilled because personality and emotional connection are believed to be as important as one's physical attractiveness in forming romantic or sexual relationships. Incels reject this and instead subscribe to the black pill. And I know you guys have heard me talk about the black pill before. The black pill, which argues that attractiveness is calculable and dictates success or failure in sexual and romantic relationships. Incels believe the black pill is being ignored and that the MSM, which stands for mainstream media, is complicit. They believe their genetic inferiority means mainstream society would prefer that they were dead. <gasps> little bit extensive, but okay, and thereby excluded from the human gene pool through natural selection. Indeed, many incels believe that the suppression or disregard of inceldom and black pill research is a conspiracy to eradicate them. <sighs> The poor incels. So, what are some of the important terms that incels use when they're discussing on, you know, the incels.is forum and elsewhere, wherever their black pilled asses may be? Chad. A Chad is an archetypal white alpha male contrasting incels in both their physicality and unlimited access to sex. Drawing on eugenics and white supremacism, Chads embody idealized characteristics of Aryan men, tall, chiseled, square-jawed, well-endowed, and possessing a full head of hair. What about us girls that like bald men, though? Incels believe that hypergamous behavior causes women to seek out chads as the most attractive and powerful sexual partners available. Chads, thus, monopolize sex with a disproportionate number of women. Incels believe that even women in monogamous relationships with other men, often called beta bucks men, I guess that would be my husband because we married, secretly engage in sexual relationships with chads. We're all cheaters out here, ladies. Chads are able to engage in depraved sexual acts with these women who refuse to take part in similar sexual behavior with their beta male partners, or the incels, of course. A common belief held by incels is that all women engage in sexual behavior in their early teens with chads, and that finding a virginal woman over the age of 18 is almost impossible. And it's some kind of holy grail, I guess. I order you to be quiet. All oh, I really think he is. <laughs> I'm your king. Well, I didn't vote for you. You don't vote for kings. Well, how'd you become king, then? The Lady of the Lake, her arm clad in the purest shimmering Samite, held aloft Excalibur from the bosom of the Listen, water. Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. According to the community, a gigachad is a man who is in the top 0.1% of men in terms of physical attractiveness. So I guess to me, my husband, he's a gigachad. The incel community is racially diverse and is actively involved in discussions of race and race realism. The Chad is the most commonly referenced male archetype. However, there are other racialized Chad figures, such as Tyrone, Chad Preet, Chadam, and Chang. A little racist. All of these figures are constructed through racist stereotypes. Yes, I, I agree with that 100%. Stacy! A Stacy is the female counterpart to a Chad. She is a female archetype of the apex of the social and sexual hierarchy. Stacys have their pick of sexual and romantic partners. For this reason, they are hated by incels and are a target for online vitriol, humiliation, and physical violence. 
Oh, now that explains so much about me, doesn't it? A typical Stacy will only date Chads. We all just found out what I did wrong out here, huh? Beckys and Betas. Beckys are the majority of the female population and are subordinate to Stacys. They are average looking and have lower social status. According to incels, their SMV or sexual market value, an index of physical attractiveness, sexist as fuck, averages between three to seven out of 10. Like Stacy's, Becky's want to engage in sexual relationships with Chad's. However, incels believe that Becky's settle for beta bucks males after hitting the wall at 25. And age 25 is the age that incels believe all women begin to lose their sexual appeal. The primary difference between Stacy's and Becky's is that incels view Stacy's as hostile and unattainable, whereas they feel that they are owed attention and sex from an inferior Becky. Who knows which one I am now. And here we have an example of the Becky and the Stacy. Storm Cells. Storm cells are incels who openly self-identify with the violent far right. The prefix storm references Stormfront, the popular white supremacist website. Storm cells' interactions with other incels are illustrative of the unique environment of the incel ecosystem. They tend to hold traditional far right views about racial hierarchies and are reluctant to engage in sexual acts with non-white women. However, Storm Cells' ultimate allegiance appears to be toward other incels, regardless of their race or religion, over white women. In fact, the incel ecosystem appears to be a space where Storm Cells question their own far-right ideological assumptions and engage in reflective discussions about this ideology with non-white incels. Jihad Maxing Jihad maxing or taking the jihad pill refers to the suggestion that Muslim cells, Muslim incels, should join jihadist groups or engage in jihad in order to access sexual relationships, which is just crazy to me. Like, that that needs to stop. This is often expressed fictitiously, but when there are reports of terrorist attacks committed by Muslims or Arabs, and if incels is believed the motives are incel-related, they will describe the attacker as jihad maxing. Now you see why these guys can be dangerous. We're going to just go through this glossary quick and grab some of the ones that I think you really need to know about. 2D is greater than 3D. The belief that 2D girlfriends, which are AI chatbots, female anime, or video game characters, are better than 3D real life girlfriends. Yeah, that's a thing. AOC. Age of consent. Ascend. To ascend is to leave inceldom and access sex with a woman. This sex must not be paid for. Example, escort cells have not ascended. Atomic black pill. Pow! Sometimes referred to as the nuclear black pill. The atomic black pill is any fundamental proof that women are shallow and are exclusively attracted to male physical traits. It includes black pill science experiments. For example, Tinder profile screenshots showing flirtations between women and a conventionally attractive male profile. Despite him having the phrase convicted three times for rape of a child in his bio. A-W-A-L-T. That's an acronym for all women are like that. An assumption that all women are driven by the same essential female nature, which drives their mating behavior. And all other behaviors too. Apparently we're all the same. Based. The act of not caring about others' opinions or being politically correct. Incels are often praised for being based. The term originally referred to someone addicted to smoking crack cocaine. Bet you guys didn't know that. Beta Orbiter. A beta orbiter is a man who spends a significant amount of time with a woman, gaining interest in her ideas and opinions in an effort to date her. This term is often used to describe men who follow female content producers on social media. And that explains a lot. Bone Smash Theory. Bones grow when exposed to repeated trauma. This is a violent method of looks maxing used by incels to change their physical appearance. I really hope no one out there that I know is doing that. Please don't be doing that out there. Hat fishing. 
creating a fake social media profile for the purposes of abusing or defrauding an individual online. Chad lights. A term used to refer to a lower tier Chad. Woof, dog pill. <laughs> the incel belief that women are having sex with dogs and that they would prefer to do this over having sex with an incel. Fat fuel. Material used by incels to fap. <laughs> Femoid, foid, a shortened version of feminoid, which is a combination of female and humanoid, a dehumanizing term suggesting women are not human. Giga, 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 what? Giga, prefix. It's a prefix describing something as the ultimate version when placed in front of Chad or AC. It indicates ultimate physical attractiveness for the top 0.1% of men or women. When placed in front of life fuel, such as Giga Life Fuel, Giga 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 it indicates the ultimate example of life fuel for an incel. Life fuel. A term for something that encourages incels to continue living. Looks maxing. An attempt made to improve one's looks to reach their greatest aesthetic potential. This includes a number of methods of self-improvement, such as going to the gym, getting a haircut, improving one's style, or taking steroids. Now that can be dangerous, so I hope people aren't doing that for real. Manosphere. Term for the loose collection of online anti-feminist, misogynistic, pro-men communities. The four distinct areas of the manosphere are the MRA, MGTOW, PUA, and incel communities. Marcel. An incel who is married. Neat. Standing for not in education, employment, or training. Living a neat lifestyle is respected by incels because it represents the act of removing oneself from an oppressive society. That's how these guys all become conspiracy theorists, okay? Nice guy, nice guy syndrome. A label or term for men who believe they are entitled to relationships because they possess personality traits that make them good partners. You know, they're a nice guy. Go check out my r slash nice guy videos. Normie? An individual who is not part of the incel community. So we're all normies here. Omega. A man who has trouble interacting with the female population and thus has has no prospect of a relationship. Pink pill. The female version of the incel black pill. Although incels do not believe women can be part of their community, there is a small group of women who believe that no matter how hard they try to fit society's ideal of a perfect woman, they will never find a partner. And we like to call them femcels as well. Like female incel. Sexual marketplace. The sexual marketplace is the modern-day dating world. Simp! A man who invests a significant amount of his time and money in a woman who isn't romantically interested in him. Soy boy! Slang term used by incels and others to describe feminist and or left-wing men who lack necessary masculine qualities based on the myth that if men drink dairy-free milk, alternatives they become weak and feminine. Way fail. An animated fictional female character, usually from anime, that an individual has a romantic feeling for. Ew, they've described me as one of those! White Knight. A man who rushes to a woman's aid in any situation. He usually acts heroic or protective in order to feel better about himself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the incel definitions. I hope that all of you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or you know any extra ones that I did not list here, please do leave them down below. I would love that. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day. Remember to hit that subscribe button and like the video, and I will make more like this for you. And we are going to be continuing the deep dive into the incel sphere. The incel dumb, if you will. And I am your king. I thought we were an autonomous collective. You're fooling yourself. We're living in a dictatorship. Who is your lord? We don't have a lord. All right, so take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Mwah! Bye! Waifu out! Ooh.